Okay, this is a serious video because I know there are people out there that have some kind of integration addictions. So, I need to save life. Here are five examples. Be sure you say no to these addictions. Let's take a look at the first one. I call this the power rule addiction. When some people see the power right here, this, they will just use the power rule. They add one, three plus one is four, and then they divide it by four. So they will just say this is one fourth sine to the fourth power x. And yes, they remember to put on the plus c, but no, this right here is not the correct answer. Why? Because if you differentiate this, you bring the four to the front, good, and you minus one, yes, you have sine to the third power of x, but you have to use the chain rule. You multiply by the derivative of sine x, you have to have a cosine x. Unfortunately, earlier, we did not have a cosine x to help us out. The correct version is this. If you have the integral of sine to the third power x with cosine x right here, this right here, you can let u equal to sine x, and then du is cosine x dx, and you can integrate this in the u world as u to the third power du, and you end up with 1 over 4. u to the fourth power, and u is sine. So this is the jet you end up with this answer right here, and of course, put on the plus C right here. So this is good, that one's not. And I will have all of this right here, the correct way, in the description for you guys. So be sure you guys go check them out. Okay, the next one, I call this the natural log addiction. When people see we have a one on the top, they will just like to say, hey, let me just use natural log, and then look at Okay, they will just put the denominator right here. Square root of x plus 1. And yes, some people even remember, look. Square root of x is always positive, plus 1 is always positive. We don't need to use the absolute value. They will just put parentheses to be fancy. And yes, let's just put on the plus c. But no, this is not the correct answer. Why? Because, oh my god, this is a square root of x. It's not x to the first power. The easy version is when we have the integral of 1 over x to the first power plus 1. And in this case, once again, this is x to the first power. If you differentiate the bottom, the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1, and you end up with natural log. Because you pretty much are doing the u substitution, that u equal to the denominator. And we put down natural log, and then the denominator, which is x plus 1. Once again, this only works if the denominator is x to the first power, and the derivative of this is just 1. So you don't have to divide it by anything else. Well, here though, x plus 1 is not always positive. Therefore, you do need the absolute value, and then don't forget the plus c. This right here will be the correct answer for this one. This is the easy version, because once again, we have x to the first power. But when we have this right here, be sure to check out the video for the actual way to do this. You need u sub. All right, now, next one, I will call this the chain loop addiction, even though it's a backward version, but here we go. All right, some people will just see, hey, look, this is x squared. I remember the derivative x squared is 2x. Because we are doing integral, which is pretty much an antiderivative. So instead of multiplying by 2x, that's divided by 2x. So they will just put on 1 of 2x, and then the integral of e to the something, well, they will just put on e to the same thing. And yes, they still remember the plus c, but no. No, 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 no. Because right here, look, oh my god, the derivative x squared is 2x. It's a function. If you put this down right here, if you differentiate this, you will have to end up with the product rule. This right here is not correct. This right here is not correct. Well, the easier version of that is if you integrate e to the 2x dx. This is what you can do. You check the derivative of the input function. The derivative of 2x is a 2. Just a 2, no x. It's just a constant 2. And when you are doing the antiderivative, instead of multiplying by 2, you will divide it by 2. So, right here, we can put down 1 half, and then the, derivative, the integral of this is still that, so we just put down the same thing, e to the 2x. This is good. 1 half e to the 2x. This is good. And of course, put down the plus c. Why does this work? Because the derivative of 2x is just a 2. It's just a number 2. When you have a function, do not just divide it by the function. 
In fact, this integral, it does not have elementary function for the answer. But I did have a video on this, so be sure you guys go check it out. Next one, some people, they don't want to face the reality of doing the integral. They just want to do the derivative. They look at this, they want to put out the 1 over 1 plus x squared, like this. And yes, they still remember the plus c, but no, 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 no. Don't do this. You have to face the reality. This right here means you have to find the antiderivative. The one that you're thinking is doing the derivative of inverse tangent x. This right here, yes, you end up with 1 over 1 plus x squared. And in fact, right here, you don't even need a plus c. If you put a plus c, you really have some kind of integral addiction. <laughs> Last one on the list, but I'm pretty sure this is not all of the addictions out there. So be sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what are the common addictions that people like to do. What may be the fantasies that people have with integrations, right? For this kind of questions, I have seen some people, okay, oh my god, this is x squared times cosine x. Maybe we can just put the x squared out, and then they will just say, let's integrate x squared. Well, they don't even do the integral anymore for the x squared. They just bring that out, and then the integral of cosine x dx. And then they say, this is x squared, and the integral of this is, well, they can get this right. The integral of cosine x is sine x. And yes, again, they remember the plus t. And no. No, 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 no. You cannot bring a function out. X world, right here, the x squared has to stay in the x world. The one that those people have in mind is when we have an integral, and perhaps we have a constant multiple, let's say we have a 2 right here, and then cosine x dx. This right here, notice 2 is just a constant multiple. You can bring the number out. So you can bring the 2 out and then focus on the integral of cosine x dx. This is the jet. And then you can see this is 2 and then the integral of this, which is positive sine x. And yes, in this case, we put on a plus c. This right here is the jet. This right here is no, 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 no. And some people will also, you know, they, they just want to have the imaginary product loop for the integral, or maybe just they don't want to use anything. This right here is a product of x squared times cosine x. The actual way to do it is by using u, oh, I mean, <laughs> no, sorry. It's by using integration by parts. If the square is right here, and then outside is just x to the first power, you do it by u sub. But since x squared is outside and cosine x, be sure you just check it out the integration by part video for this right here. Well, some people, they don't want to face the reality of doing the integration by parts. They just want to integrate the first term, which is 1 third x to a third power, the first guy, okay? And then look at the second guy, which is cosine x. No, this is not correct either. And yes, maybe they even put on the plus c, but don't do this. Don't do this. Let's see if I can, oh, I can put on another one. You cannot just integrate, this is actually one term because this is the product. So, the one that you can do it nicely is if you have the integral of x squared plus or minus, but let me just apply, let me put on plus for example. And the second one is cosine x dx. And you see the integral, and then they close that right here, and some people put parentheses just to emphasize, it's okay. If it's a plus or minus in between, yes, you can integrate the first one, which is 1 third x cubed, and then integrate this, you get plus sine x. In the end, don't forget the plus c. Yes, this is correct. That one is not. So, be sure you share this with the people who need help with integrations, because this right here can save their calculus too great. Thank you guys so much, right? And yes, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And of course, this right here does not, you know, deserve to be here. I also need to cross this out. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And as always, this is it.